Hello, this is uh, Matthew Robert Payne. This is a personal prophecy series, uh, and this uh, teaching is called What Qualities Make a Good Prophet? Okay, um, what qualities would make a good prophet? Hey, uh, each of my teachings, uh, I've got no notes. Uh, you, if you've uh, been following my teachings, you'll know that each of them have got a headline and I just sat down for five minutes over dinner a few nights ago and listed 40 headlines of uh, subjects I'm going to teach on. So bearing that in mind, when I say what qualities make up a good prophet, um, I've got absolutely no information there uh, to preach on. So the first quality that I say would make a good prophet is that um, they have a hunger for the Word of God. It's not a person who uh, goes to church uh, once a week and hears a message preached out of the Bible. It's not a person that uh, goes to a weekly Bible study and listens to other people's opinions of the Word of God. The quality I'm talking about is a person who cannot live without uh, opening the Word of God and, and eating the Word of God like nourishment, like um, daily food. Uh, a person who's uh, going to be strong in the Lord and walk according to the anointing of the Lord and in his might and power is a person who's continually built up by the Word of God. Uh, that's an important quality of a prophet. Uh, the Holy Spirit, in, in 1 John it says uh, the Holy Spirit, the anointing of the Holy Spirit is our teacher and no man needs a teacher. Now. Um, that's funny that in, in Ephesians also, I think it's Ephesians, it says that um, it's appointed for apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors and teachers. And so there is an office of teacher in the church. May, many people call them lay preachers. And so how could in one scripture it be saying that uh, the anointing of the Lord is our teacher. We don't need a teacher. In another passage of the Bible, there is an, a, a part in the church for a teacher of the word. How can uh, both of them be true? The, 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 the fact of the matter is that uh, there are teachers of the word, but you don't often hear the teachers of the word every day. Uh, you don't uh, normally go to a meeting uh, every night at your church. And if your church has got meetings every night and you're at the meetings and most of the church are at the meetings, uh, that church is most often in revival. Um, so in between uh, Saturday and Wednesday night, when you go to Bible study, you go to church, uh, the Lord wants you opening the Word of God, and the Holy Spirit wants to be your teacher. Now, how do you know when the Holy Spirit is teaching you? Uh, the Word of God becomes active and living, and uh, the words jump off the page, and the meaning comes to you of what's being said in the Word of God, rather than it just being something you read and think about, uh, the Holy Spirit jumps out at you and tells you what that scripture actually means. This is the number one quality of a good prophet. Number two is uh, a good prophet uh, can see uh, deeply into the Word of God and see the ramifications of scripture. Uh, a good prophet uh, will have been well read in the Bible and so be able to treat each scripture in, in context according to all the other scriptures in the Bible similar to the context I took uh, the teacher versus the teacher as, as one of the fivefold ministries and the teacher of the Holy Spirit and was able to say that both verses can be true. Um, when a prophet sees deeply into the Word of God and is well read, uh, read all parts of the Bible, they can treat Scripture contextually and see all Scripture in context. Uh, the Scripture that says, uh, uh, salvation is by faith, not by works, lest no man should boast. Uh, many people take that as gospel and say you don't have to work to earn your salvation. There is no works and anyone preaching uh, works and obedience uh, to Christ as a prerequisite for being saved or living the proper Christian life is wrong. That's totally out of context. There's just one verse in, uh, taken uh, out, by itself and is t 
caused a total wrong doctrine. The very next verse in that passage said we're all created for good works in Jesus Christ. Uh, so uh, the very next verse actually contradicts uh, the meanings that people place on that one verse. It's very dangerous uh, for uh, people just to take one verse and build a whole doctrine out of it. Um, so a, a prophet sees uh, the whole Bible in context um, and all the verses in context. A good prophet uh, ha is uh, able to spend many hours in a seating with the Lord. It's, uh, it's got a good relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ and, and God the Father is, isn't embarrassed to speak of the wonderful relationship they have with the Father and Jesus Christ. They should be able to have a two-way conversation for hours with God. Uh, and uh, a good prophet should be able to impart the ability for you to be able to hear from God. Uh, a good prophet should be able to impart the gifts of prophecy to any person who wants those gifts. A good prophet should be able to teach the Word of God with power and signs following. Uh, good prophets should be uh, gifted in the gifts of the Spirit and be able to heal and do many other signs and wonders to um, back up the import and the, the anointing and, and the authority they have as a, as a prophet. Uh, a good prophet uh, uh, knows how to suffer rejection well, uh, doesn't hold bitterness and uh, spite and anger in his heart, but uh, flows with love even though his message is rejected most often. Uh, he continues with a strong faith in the Lord, with a pure heart and love towards his enemies. A good prophet uh, doesn't make a profit out of his ministry. Uh, a prophet shouldn't be a prophet for hire. He should be a prophet that works on free will offerings. He shouldn't even have an appearance fee or even demand that a collection be taken up for his ministry. A good prophet should minister freely by the Lord and should be on the Lord's payroll, not on anyone else's payroll. A good prophet doesn't need to be supported by his home church, but should be freely released to travel through the body of Christ and minister according to what the Lord places in his mouth to preach in each church. A good prophet should be able to walk into a church and have a message directly for that church. A good prophet shouldn't have just a list of 50 messages that he preaches from church to church but should be able to have a peculiar and particular message for a specific church on a specific day. Uh, good prophets should be able to have not only a specific and peculiar uh, message for a church that day but uh, be able to build on that message day after day for a week uh, in the proper um, accordance and proper obedience to the Lord God Almighty. He shouldn't be afraid to rebuke and chastise and turn the people of God back to God rather than money and coveting and the lifestyles and the pleasures of this world. A good prophet should live a life of holiness and direct the people of God to a life of holiness. A good prophet should be set apart for God and his ministry and uh, live holy for God and not live in luxury, not live uh, with uh, goods and the world's goods and building up the world's goods with millions of dollars or thousands of dollars worth of equipment and, and, and goods but uh, he should store his treasure in heaven. A good prophet should uh, speak with authority and speak from the counsel of the Lord and uh, speak with the uh, full backing of the scriptures, the holy scriptures. Uh, you'll notice in um, this series that I don't quote many scriptures this is just plain information. There's many people out there preaching doctrines and preaching all sorts of sermons, backing them up on one or two scriptures and making a whole teaching on one or two scriptures out of context. This is not me, I'm just passing on information, information I've learned in the years I've moved in the prophetic and walked in personal prophecy and these are just some of the things. A good prophet should be able to uh, discern the gifts and talents in people and the ministry officers. Uh, a good prophet should be able to uh, direct people and counsel a minister and individuals and uh, among other things. I hope that uh, that has been informing to you. If uh, you don't have those abilities, um, I um, doubt that you're in the office of prophet.